is sleep or lack of it um, as we age a sign of hormone issues? Yes, very I mean, everybody much. seems to complain of good, good not question. sleeping. Very much, and in fact, uh, some of the work that I do, uh, I delved into looking further into sleep for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, sleep and appetite are so intricately bound, mm. too, and someone that's not sleeping well will have increased appetite um, with uh, leptin and ghrelin are the two hormones that mm -hmm. regulate that. And so they show, there are all kinds of studies, but if we don't get seven hours, we're going to be more prone to disruptions in hormones okay. and uh, weight gain. And then they even show scales of two to four hours a night has this propensity for obesity, four to six hours. I mean, they've really, uh, they as in the literature documents, mm -hmm. uh, some pretty interesting things about sleep. We need to sleep. Mm -hmm. and, and seven seems to be the magic number. Uh, not that everybody hits that, but mm -hmm. less than that, even if people think they feel well, mm -hmm. the body doesn't quite uh, rejuvenate and recalibrate the way that it needs to. So how does someone get back on track in terms of sleep? Because I mean, you question. know, if somebody gets up yeah. early, they're frustrated, they can't sleep, they get mad, they're grumpy throughout the day. I mean, Absolutely. it's just Absolutely, and then it, yeah, vicious cycle mm -hmm. of, of kind of that wired and tired right. phenomenon that happens where you're exhausted, lay down, and of course, Right. The committee starts and, and you can't get to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. The adrenal work I do, I have to say, is a first place I look to help someone because if you think about stress and the stress regulating hormones, cortisol is a big one. Mm -hmm. And if cortisol doesn't go down at night, it's supposed to be minimal by midnight, mm -hmm. then melatonin will not be secreted. And they're in a, in a sense, you know, two sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. And so that's just one very direct place we look and we have to get that cortisol down at night. It's supposed to be very robust in the morning, and then that curve falls for the rest of the day. And melatonin, we need melatonin for good REM sleep, mm -hmm. and it won't be secreted by the body if we don't uh, have lower cortisols at night. Mm -hmm. So that's just one area to look at by biochemistry, and we can supplement and help with uh, nutrients too. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna say. Melatonin as a supplement's been pretty popular over yes. the past couple decades, is that mm -hmm. something that you recommend? Or? It is. I don't do any blanket recommendations mm -hmm. for hormones. I think they're all very powerful and they all have interactions with all the other hormones. Sure. And so, you know, as a blanket statement, no, I don't say everybody should run out and take melatonin. But when I'm working with a patient and I've tested and looked at all these areas, yes, melatonin mm -hmm. is, a, is a hormone I will use to help sleep. If someone has good responsiveness in the body still, they will return to good production of melatonin usually if you start to balance hmm. the adrenals and things.